Hi, this is Tim from Digigate, and in this video we're going to be looking at Digigate firmware updates, downloading the Digigate log, adding and editing users while setting access control, setting schedules, and GSM options. Now before we go into detail into all the options we have available, the first thing we recommend you do is install a firmware update for your Digigate. So to do that, we tap on the three dots, we go to other options, we scroll down, we see firmware, we can see the version that it's currently on. If we tap on here, we can see it's checking for an update. Now we can see there is an update available. So if we tap update now, the Digigate will start retrieving the update. The update has been downloaded. Shall we restart? So we'll select yes. And now the Digigate firmware has been updated. We can now continue with the rest of the video. So first of all, we'll look at downloading the Digigate log. Now only users with relevant access rights can do this and admin users can enable or disable this for certain users in the settings. So first of all, we'll go back to the devices page and tap on the three dots. Now we see download log. So we select this option and the log starts downloading. And on this page, we can see exactly who's accessed the gate, what time and for how long they open the gate for. So the log records on a 30 day rolling basis, so we can always go back a maximum of 30 days when we scroll through it. So to finish this page, we'll just tap done. And now we'll look at adding and editing app and GSM users. So the same again, we just tap the three dots and go on manage users. Now only admin users can access this section. So if we want to add an app user, so somebody else, for example, to control our gates, we can tap on add app user. Now on this page, we can set the username of the user and the password, and we can also determine whether the user can latch the gate open. So if we don't want the user to be able to open the gates for 15 minutes, for example, or anything other than the normal open, we can disable this button here. And we can also determine whether the user can access the log or not. So once we've added the user's details, we can tap on next step. Now this is where we set the access control for the user. Now, if we want them to have full access 24 seven, we tap on full access. We go to single access. We can determine whether we want them to be only having access on one day. So at the moment you can see it's automatically populated with the 11th of May, 2020 from nine till five. I can change any of those values. If we want them to have access between two dates, so we can say the 11th of May to the 21st of May, we can select it there. If we go back and choose restricted access, now this is access on regular intervals. So every week we can say we only want this user to be having access Monday, Wednesday and Friday between 10 and 6. Or if we choose different per day, we can say I want them to have access every Monday between 9.30 and 5 and every Wednesday between 12 and 5, for example. In this case, we will go back and choose full access. Now this page just confirms the details of the user, so everything we have selected. So we can see the username, the access level, whether we want them to be able to latch the gate open or not, and whether we want them to download the log or not. So once we're happy with this, we can choose create user. We'll connect to the Digigate unit, and once it's created okay, we will get a confirmation message, so we say okay. And now that user can enter their details and start using the Digigate system. Now, if we pretend we are that new user, in order to add that Digigate system, we'd go in the top right corner to add. We would go on control Digigate. We would choose a standard account. We would enter the connect code. They would then enter the credentials that we just created for them. It will verify. If we have provided them with a Digigate phone number to call, they can enter that here. If they want to use GPS, they can enter that here. And then all they have to do is give it a name. Once they've done that, the exact same thing will happen. It will appear in their list. They can then control the Digigate using that account. In our example, we will now delete this and go back to where we were before on manage users. And we will now look at editing app users. So if we tap on edit app user, we can see all of our user accounts on Digigate. 
If we want to quickly disable a user, we can swipe on them and tap disable. We'll get a confirmation message. And now the user is disabled. We can easily re-enable the user again. And we can just as easily delete the user as well. Now, deleting a user does not delete anything from the access log. That still remains. So if we want to edit a user, we can just tap on the user and we go to this page where we can see the user details. We can see the username, what access they currently have and if they are active. If we want to change some details of the user. So for example, I want to change this user's password. I can just enable change password and enter a new password. If I no longer want them to be able to latch the gate open, I can disable this. And if I decide I now want them to be able to access the log, I can enable that. As long as I just tap save at the end, I can change their access control by tapping here. Now I only want this user to be able to come every Monday between nine and five. So I can save that here. And all I have to do is finally press save on this page and the new settings will be saved against the user. As you can see now at the top, Andrew Dunn now has restricted access. I can open him again, go on access control. I can see restricted access is now ticked and we can see the setting that I saved Monday between nine and five has now taken place. So if I come out of here, go all the way back, we can see GSM users is grayed out. This means that you don't have your GSM dongle plugged in. If you plug your dongle in, cancel out of here, come back in, you'll now see the GSM options are available. So if we want to add a GSM user, we just tap here. We enter the person's name. We enter the person's phone number. We go to the next step. Now we choose the access control, just like we did before for app users. In this case, this person is going to have access between the 13th of May and the 15th of May. Now on this page, we can see we're confirming details again. We've got the person's name, their phone number, and the access control. So now if we tap create GSM user, user has been created, and they can now open the gate. If we want to edit GSM users, we just tap on edit GSM user. We can see the user at the top. We can tap on them again. The exact same layout as the app page comes up. We can disable them just like before or enable them. We can go on their credentials and change their name or number. We can change their access control. So in this example, I will now change it to full access. And to save the user, we simply tap save. And now we're going to go back and start looking at setting schedules on our Digigate system. So to set schedules, we need to tap the three dots and go to other options. Now only admin users can access this page. We want to set a weekday timing. So these are timings that happen repeatedly every week. So we can say every Tuesday, I want the gate to open between nine o'clock and 10.30. If I also want a second timing on Tuesday, I can set one here. So I can say, I also want it to be open from three o'clock until five o'clock. And the same goes for a third timing. Once we've done the timings for Tuesday, we just tap back and we can see them there. Now, if I want to say every Thursday, I want the gate open as well. We can set a timing here. And the same goes for any other day of the week. Now these timings will repeat every week. So to save these timings, we tap save. The app will communicate with Digigate and save them. And then we're taken back to the previous page. If we want to change any of these timings, we can just tap weekday timings, open one up and make a change. Please make sure you tap save in the top right corner. If we want to delete a timing, we can simply go on the timing and delete it and save again. And if we want to delete a day completely, we can swipe on the day and tap delete. If you want to set a calendar timing, 
So this is where you want the gates to open between certain times on a certain date. We open the calendar timings page, tap the plus in the top right corner. We need to choose the date that we want the opening to occur on. So I'm going to choose July the 15th. I've got three timings I can set. So for timing A, I want to say the gates are going to open between 12 and 4. And I also want them to open again at 10 o'clock at night. And 11 o'clock. Now I can say save date. And you can now see the date is in the calendar timing section. If I want to make edits to that, I simply tap on it. And if I want to delete it, I can swipe and tap delete. Now we're going to look at all the other options available to us. So if we go back, we can see we have holiday mode. If we enable holiday mode, any of the scheduled timings we've set will not happen. If we disabled holiday mode again, all of the schedules can now take place again. Beneath this, we have signal level. If we have a GSM dongle plugged in, we can check the signal level of the SIM card by going in here and tapping it test signal level. Now we can see the dongle we have plugged in has strong signal. If we go back, we can see the default open time for GSM. Now this is how long you want the gate to open for whenever the gate is called by somebody. Now we have it set to default, so when somebody opens the gate, it just opens as normal and closes again. We can say whenever someone calls the gate, it opens for 10 minutes, or we can open it for two minutes. This is just a nice way of overriding the default open time of the gate system itself. Further down, we have GSM data. This is not something we recommend users to use, but if you would like to use a SIM card with data inside your dongle and run your Digigate internet connection from here, this is where you would go. For firmware updates, you can just tap on firmware. It will check for updates. And if there are any available, you'll be able to download and install them from here. Syncing the Digigate time. Now this is if your Digigate time for some reason got out of sync with the internet, you can resync it back here. This is not something we would expect you to ever to use, but it's there just in case. And underneath that, we have restart or shutdown. This is where you can shut down or restart your Digigate system from the mobile app. Now that concludes this tutorial. I hope it's been useful. Please get in touch on 01293 279 700 if you'd like help with your installation. Or alternatively, give us an email at info at digigate.co.uk. Thank you.